Do other animals have nightmares too? In an article that I published in Time Magazine recently, I look at some of the evidence that suggests that mammals of all kinds, from elephants to apes to rats, experience nightmares when they go to sleep. That is to say, they experience dream sequences that are charged with negative affect. And in this article, I talk about the implications of these sequences in terms of our thinking about the emotional and the cognitive lives of other species. From an emotional perspective, these nightmares are really interesting windows into the emotional lives of other species. And they tell us something about the way in which the animal mind is impacted by trauma. Not only do nightmares tell us that animals experience trauma, but they also tell us that animals can experience trauma that is so intense that it can haunt them not just for days and weeks, but in some cases, even years after the original exposure. Now, from a cognitive perspective, nightmares also tell us something about the way in which the animal mind elaborates or works upon certain mental contents. If you have a nightmare, it means that you are able to remember a particular episode from past experience, that you are able to store that episode in something like a memory archive, that you are able to retrieve that episode at some future date, and that in some cases, you might even be able to take pieces of that episode, combine it with pieces from other episodes, and recombine those pieces into a new mental reality that is then presented to you as a unified reality in the form of a tree. I conclude this Time Magazine article by showing that in the same way that human nightmares have led philosophers and psychologists to complexify their views of our inner mental space and to rethink the cartography of the human mind, so too the nightmares of other species should lead all of us to complexify and to nuance our interpretation of the mental, emotional, and social lives of all the other species with whom we share this planet.